Recently, we've heard a lot about the Tesla Cybertruck in the news, with Tesla possibly pushing initial production to Q1 of 2023. This has led many to believe that the Cybertruck is just never coming, or will be constantly delayed to the point where it won't even matter once it comes out. However, for Tesla, they're just worried about getting the Cybertruck the best it can be and getting production going as quick as they can. With their earnings call coming up on January 26th and an updated product roadmap on the way at that earnings call from Elon Musk, Tesla just shipped in a new Cybertruck prototype with a lot of changes to their Giga Texas factory where that call will be. A bunch of photos leaked of the new Cybertruck, so today we're gonna get into that and analyze it, so let's get into it. Tesla announced the Cybertruck back in November of 2019. At that time, it came with a bunch of fanfare, a bunch of flames, because this car was absolutely shocking to the whole world. Tesla had teased that this Cybertruck was gonna come and was gonna be very interesting, but no one was expecting it to be quite this crazy. At the event, Elon Musk detailed what the Cybertruck is and why it looks so crazy. It uses an exoskeleton instead of a body-on-frame design, and in that process, it can make the overall Cybertruck design better and safer and cheaper. The stainless steel design holds up way better than a typical car door on a truck, and here you can see Franz giving it a smash and actually breaking the window a little bit, but they didn't know that until a bit later. But it holds up well with a sledgehammer. And then after that, Tesla did their now infamous Tesla Armor Glass demo, where Franz threw a metal ball at the front window and it broke. And then he went, maybe let's try the back one. And that also broke. They had demoed this plenty before the event and it all worked fine until the moment they were actually being filmed and showing it to the world. It can tow up to 14,000 pounds and drag a Ford F-150 up a hill in a tug of war race. It also can beat a Porsche in a zero to 60 race with its crazy 2.1 second, second zero to 60 and 10.8 second quarter mile. It supports Tesla's supercharger network, of course. It's the first first car or truck that Tesla has announced that supports over 250 kilowatt charging. It has an onboard air compressor and 110 and 220 volt outlets. They also mentioned trailer docking as an autopilot feature, but the biggest shocker of the event was the starting price of $39,900. From there, they announced three different configurations, a single motor, dual motor, and tri-motor at 250 miles of range, 300 miles of range, and 500 miles of range respectively, as well as starting prices of $39,900, $39,900, $49,900, and $69,900 respectively. All super impressive for what it delivers. The last part of the event was demoing their versatile tailgate and actually driving their Cyber ATV prototype up into it. This showed that while the Cybertruck design is very unconventional, it's actually very functional and works as a proper truck with a large truck bed and impressive suspension that we can see lowering in the back there. Here, he is plugging in the ATV, demoing those 110 or 220 volt outlets, and then they closed out the event and told people to order now at tesla.com slash Cybertruck. Tesla gave test drives at the event where people actually got to see what the interior really looks like, and then it was reported they had received over 146,000 Cybertruck pre-orders just a few days later. It was a long time before we heard anything else about the Cybertruck, and for a while, this was really the only footage we had to go off of. It's great footage demoing the Cybertruck actually being used out in the wild by Tesla, but it was all we had. We could see things like the tonneau cover right there closing, how big the windshield is, and how well this is cornering, but other than that, there has been a lot of mystery. Elon Musk tweeted shortly after the event to say, will be an option to add solar power that generates 15 miles per day, possibly more. Would love this to be self-powered. Adding fold out solar wings would generate 30 to 40 miles per day. Average miles per day in US is 30. He also talked about the Cybertruck being about 3% smaller, but then tweeted after that to say, reviewed design with Franz last night, even 3% smaller is too small. We'll be pretty much this size. We'll probably do a smaller, tight world truck at some point. When asked in November of 2020 if we could see some new photos, he said, sure, maybe in a month or so, but those never arrived. But the most exciting thing just came out today with a bunch of new leaks of the Cybertruck at Giga Texas. These photos of Giga Texas show the Cybertruck prototype, a brand new one, arriving at Giga Texas ahead of Tesla's shareholder meeting where they're likely going to announce production, the variants, all the specs, and everything for the new Cybertruck. 
First, we can see the obvious things, like that big windshield wiper up on the windshield. We can also see the side mirrors, which we've never seen up this close before. The wheels here no longer have hubcaps, and likely the ones Tesla demoed with this would just clip onto this wheel that we're seeing. The larger thing to point out here, though, is shown in multiple photos, which makes the front of the car look quite a bit more round than the original prototype. Here's another angle that shows employees checking out every feature of this truck, and we can again see that that front end is quite a bit rounder than we're used to. Here's a good side by side, we can see the prototype on the left and the new prototype on the right. Quite a bit different if you really look at it. But the new leaks definitely don't stop there. There were videos posted online doing full walkarounds of this new Cybertruck prototype. So let's get into it. This is the closest view we've seen of the Cybertruck with no door handle. So based on what Elon has said, they'll be auto presenting and then I assume there'll be some sort of backup that you can touch on the Cybertruck B pillar to open the door if necessary. This little white line appears to be what that spot would be where you touch or possibly swipe based on what Tesla originally demoed with the brand new Tesla Roadster that still has yet to come. They have you swipe to open the door and likely this is what they're going to do with the Cybertruck. The video continues from there and the next thing we can see is that the camera on the wheel well itself has changed a little bit. It looks to be a round shape or an oval shape as opposed to the original Cybertruck prototype which had this really cool looking triangle design. I kind of hope they keep that but it might be updated to this instead. From there we get a better view of the new side mirrors which are very large as well as what the wiper looks from the side and at this angle it definitely sticks up there and it's very large another thing to note as well is the suspension sticking up above the wheel we haven't really gotten a good close view of that before walking around the front again appears to show it having more of a rounded design and it's really great to see this light bar in action we can see it on and then it goes off right here in the video so we can see the Cybertruck without it again it looks like that hood is quite a bit smaller than originally demoed and this overall even though it has those sharp angles is a little more of a rounded front end it is also funny to note in the subtitles how much trash the employee is talking about the Cybertruck calling it a stainless steel refrigerator these are definitely some new angles we haven't seen before and it shows how gigantic that windshield is some more views of the wheels which appear to not have hubcaps on them and also seem to be fitted with less aggressive tires than the original prototype and then some even closer views on that very controversial gigantic windshield wiper. The person taking the video calls it ridiculous and it definitely seems like it would block some of your view as the driver but we'll have to see what it's like in practice and hopefully Tesla will give us more updates about that this week. They walk around the other side of the truck and then give us another view of the side mirror and unfortunately they don't give us that great of a view inside but we have seen some speculation and I'll point it out that possibly right here is an instrument cluster display. This little bright light right there could just be a reflection. Very well could just be a reflection or the normal screen and we can't see it from this angle angle, but I really wouldn't be surprised if Tesla does add an instrument cluster so that the Cybertruck can have both the 17-inch screen and the instrument cluster just like the Model S and X do. A close-up from that video when they walk by the front shows what appears to be exactly where an instrument cluster would go. This is exactly what it looks like from this angle on a Model S or X, so I really think Tesla will be adding that for the Cybertruck. It really makes a lot of sense. Then they go around back and we get some great views of what it looks like in the trunk. It has a lot of storage space and Tesla has talked about that from the beginning and it's been clear that this will be a functional truck with lots of storage space. Another thing to note is that this has a plastic truck bed which actually probably makes a lot more sense than the original stainless steel truck bed that Tesla unveiled and showed prototype photos of initially. From here we can see the back of the truck, the actual tailgate itself, what the back bumper looks like, where your license plate will go, the tow hitch, as well as some views of what Giga Texas actually looks like in the background. Here in a second we can see a lot of the factory and then they'll go up to show what the buttons look like for the truck bed cover as well as the tailgate. It's pretty crazy to see just how sharp the angles are on this thing and then those are the buttons for the tailgate and tonneau cover that I mentioned. One thing that seems to be missing here is the actual charge port door. This would normally be right here. If we look at the original prototype we can see that that is where the charge port door is and it's actually very obvious. Now it appears that instead of being part of the body of the truck it is actually part of this plastic wheel well. We can see the dividers right there that would indicate a charge port. From there, they do one more walk down the left side of the Cybertruck. Again, we can see the windshield wiper and the side mirrors as well as the shallow bumper. 
Lastly, possibly confirming my theory about the door backup option. If it doesn't auto present itself, the employee demos how you hold your phone up to the side of the B pillar to unlock it, but actually it wouldn't work like that with your phone. It would work like that with a key card or your phone would stay in your pocket. One bit of speculation I've seen about the Cybertruck is the front trunk and how it may adopt more of a design like the Ford F-150 front trunk, which has a lot more space. Tesla only showed one image of the front trunk of the Cybertruck at that unveil event, and that image has not been posted anywhere else. Some think that this small gap right here could be the entire hood closing similar to the F-150, but I really don't think that that is the case. Likely it will be similar to what Tesla ships in all of their other cars. But now let's talk about the previous Cybertruck leaks we saw. A few months ago, we finally got some new photos and video of the Cybertruck. This is at Giga Texas, the new factory that Tesla is building and about to start production on for the Model Y, and they will be building the Cybertruck there. So they brought it to show employees, and a lot of employee photos were posted online, showing things like the interior with the yoke steering wheel, the light bars actually in action, what it looks like off-road, and then Elon Musk talking in front of the Cybertruck to all his new employees at Giga Texas. Here's another great view of the Cybertruck at this angle where you can see the light bar and then one more photo of it from the side. This appeared to be the same prototype and then Elon tweeted, in end, we kept production design almost exactly same as show car. Just some small tweaks here and there to make it slightly better. No door handles. Car recognizes you and opens door. In that same tweet though, he mentioned it having four wheel steering and then another time he mentioned it having the ability to have easily removable side mirrors, likely to keep the design of the Cybertruck sleek and replace side mirrors with something like side cameras. The most exciting updates finally came when we saw that Cybertruck with side mirrors installed as well as a giant windshield wiper that we can see right here. If we zoom in, we can see that it's just one giant wiper for the entire giant windshield and Elon himself mentioned after this leaked that it wasn't the production wiper. They were doing testing of this new Cybertruck prototype at Fremont though, and we can tell that it does not have door handles. It has updated wheels, the truck bed is a little bit different than prior, and the front hood of the truck has gotten a bit smaller, making the truck overall possibly a bit shorter or just extending the windshield. This is likely the same prototype we saw at Giga Texas today, or a very similar one. This video showed some great views of the Cybertruck next to some of Tesla's most popular cars, showing how much bigger it is than them. And then here's a great view of it next to the Model 3. We can just see how much bigger the Cybertruck Cybertruck is yet again. From the front, the Cybertruck has quite a different view than we've expected or seen thus far, and we've never seen it from this angle, so this was a great angle to see. The latest we heard regarding specs for the Cybertruck was that Tesla actually removed their configurator and all specs listed for the Cybertruck on the website, leading many to think that they're going to change it entirely. And then Elon Musk sort of confirmed this, saying initial production will be four motor variant with independent, ultra fast response torque control of each wheel. This will likely end up being more expensive. And then we got this view that again emphasizes how much bigger the front windshield is and how much smaller the hood is than the original prototype. Ultimately with all of this we know that the Cybertruck is going to have four independent motors. It's going to have a little bit more of a rounded design as we can see here and currently it appears to have that giant windshield wiper unless Tesla changes their mind there as well as side mirrors that should be easily removable. Will it have this solar option like Elon Musk talked about? Probably not, at least definitely not at launch. There will indeed not be door handles though. They will auto present themselves and then if you need to open them manually, you will touch this little touch sensitive button or possibly swipe. The side cameras, at least the holes for them, appear to have gotten a bit smaller. And an instrument cluster seems extremely likely. It looks like it's possibly lit up here, and then here is the space where it would go, just like it is on the Model S and X. The truck bed itself appears to be plastic instead of metal, and it still looks like that back there has an under storage compartment. And then this is what the wheels look like without covers on them, as well as the charge port, which has now moved to the plastic part of the wheel well instead of the stainless steel body of the truck. As we can see, there's a lot to get excited about with the Cybertruck. Tesla is likely to hold it very true to the original prototype and improve it in a few specific ways that I talked about in this video. Some of these features will be small things that people won't notice, and some of them will be huge changes that make a big difference and make the car overall way better. The real question is going to be how long it's going to be until the Cybertruck comes out, and hopefully we should find that out on Tesla's earnings call happening this week on January 26th. Rivian has started first deliveries of the R1T, which is the first electric truck to market, but they are a brand new company scaling up their first vehicle, so that will be a big challenge. The Ford F-150 Lightning is on the way, and they'll have a slight advantage there as far as producing the truck itself, versus Tesla, who has never produced a truck before, and is trying to do a truck unlike anything else. Then there are many trucks upcoming 
running like the Hummer EV, Chevy Silverado EV, Sierra EV, and a number of others that are hopefully coming soon, as well as the canoe truck and a couple crazy ones that we'll have to see if ever make it to market. Either way, electric trucks are arriving for real soon from many different companies, and Tesla is going full force with the Cybertruck. I can't wait to see how the final production version ends up after this prototype, and if they keep things like that giant windshield wiper or not. Tesla has more pre-orders for the Cybertruck than any other company does for their electric truck, so it should be very exciting and a very promising product for them when it finally comes to market. That's it for this video, so in the meantime, if you want to see the latest Tesla news, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.